Welcome to the SKF eLearning course designed around the SKF Trouble-Free Operation or TFO program. SKF TFO is a proven systems approach to proper wheel end maintenance. Proper wheel end maintenance can extend the service life of bearings and seals, protect your trucks from costly damage, and make your fleet safer. In this course, we'll cover inspection and removal and installation of the components. We'll also review SKF's premium wheel end products and how proper use and maintenance of those products can lead to a more profitable fleet. Additionally, we'll look at wheel nut and lug lock information as it pertains to hub piloted wheels. Brake related components will not be covered. Let's start by reviewing the different types of hub assemblies. Manual adjusted bearing hub assemblies, preset hub assemblies, and unitized hub assemblies. Manual adjusted bearing hub assemblies include standard bearings and a seal. This type of hub is very common and is often found on trailers. They are typically made of iron rather than aluminum. Please note that SKF follows TMC recommended practice 618 for bearing adjustment when working with manually adjusted hub assemblies. Preset hub assemblies, also referred to as LMS on Packard vehicles, include a precision machined hub, a spacer, specially toleranced bearings, and a premium seal. Preset hub assemblies are very common on tractors and are most often aluminum. Preset plus hub assembly information may be found at www.conmet.com. Unitized hub assemblies include special components that are not replaceable. Because the unitized hub assembly is non-serviceable and needs to be replaced in its entirety, we will not cover this hub in the training. We will only be covering serviceable wheel ends. Now let's review the components of the wheel end. Commercial vehicle wheel ends consist of a hub, bearings, spacer for preset hub assemblies, seal, spindle, spindle nut, hub cap for front and trailer hub assemblies, and lubricant. The drive axle uses a drive axle shaft rather than a hub cap, as this wheel end receives its lubrication from the differential. The hub serves as the main support for the wheel end and brake assembly. The hub includes the wheel studs that center and mount the wheel to the hub. The wheel stud acts as a spring that has been stretched when the wheel nut is installed and torqued properly. The tension that results is clamp load. Proper clamp load is critical to wheel retention and vehicle safety. Additionally, lug lock devices help to provide an alert when a wheel nut has loosened and clamp force has been reduced. The SKF lug lock also includes a backstop as a preventative measure to further loosening and clamp force loss. The bearings allow the wheels to rotate with minimal friction and support the vehicle's weight while taking loads from every direction. A tapered roller bearing consists of a race or cup that is pressed into the hub and provides a matched running surface for the rollers. The other part of the bearing assembly is the cone and consists of an inner race and cage that evenly spaces the rollers. The tapered profile allows the bearing to handle loads from every angle, radial, thrust, and in any combination. Half-stand bearings, which are required for the preset hub assemblies, are manufactured to tighter tolerances to set the distance between outer and inner bearings for a precise bearing adjustment. Used only in preset hub assemblies, the spacer works in conjunction with half-stand bearings and a precision machined hub to set a precise bearing adjustment for extended life. Manually adjusted bearing hub assemblies or competitive hub assemblies cannot be retrofitted to preset. The wheel seal is a critical component to the wheel end and functions to seal lubricant in and keep contaminants out of the hub cavity. The seal is the first line of defense in keeping contaminants out and ultimately extending the life expectancy of the wheel end. SKF offers two main types of wheel seals, the Scott Seal Classic and Scott Seal Plus XL. Both can be used in oil bath and grease applications. The Scott Seal Classic features a unitized construction so that the seal lip and running surface are mated and fresh with each replacement. 
The very notable green bortite acts as a filler between the two metal surfaces of the hub and the seal casing. The Scott Seal Classic requires special installation tools specifically designed to fit the classic construction. Be sure to use the proper tool to avoid installation damage. The Scott Seal Plus XL is SKF's premium wheel seal and is the OEM seal found in the preset hub assembly. Featuring a unitized design, the rubber material of the Scott Seal Plus XL is a special grade of hydrogenated nitrile that handles higher temperatures and aggressive synthetic lubricant packages. Its sealing technology includes a wave seal design that sweeps oil back to the bearings when needed and three exclusion lips to help keep contaminants out. The special formulated rubber ID beads tightly grip the shaft. Unlike the Scott Seal Classic, the Scott Seal Plus XL does not require special tools and can be pressed in by hand or tapped into place with a rubber mallet. Both Scott Seal designs offer value. Choose the Scott Seal that you prefer or that best meets the needs of your application. The axle spindle is the one stationary component of the wheel end. It serves as the connection between the hub assembly and the vehicle. The spindle nut holds the hub assembly onto the axle and is used to adjust bearing end play. The spindle nut is critical to bearing, seal, and tire life. The hub cap is installed onto the exterior of the wheel end and serves as a fill point for the lubricant, seals in the lubricant, and inhibits contaminant ingression. The hub cap also serves as a vent to release a rise in air pressure within the wheel end. SKF trouble-free Zytel hubcaps come in both oil bath and grease designs. However, options are available for PSI accommodation and upgraded splash protection, such as the SKF splash guard. Additionally, the SKF trouble-free Zytel oil hubcap includes a center fill plug that can be removed to install lubricant. Its vented design is closed to keep out contaminants and opens only to vent pressure. The cloud-free window holds the center fill plug and provides a lubricant fill line indicator. The window is fusion bonded to the body and will not shake free. The side fill plug is an option for filling the hubcap with lubricant and also contains a magnet that will attract metal particles, indicating the wheel end requires attention. The SKF splash guard offers added protection against high pressure spray washers. Water ingress will contaminate the lubricant and start the deterioration of wheel end component life. Wheel end lubrication provides a film between the metal to metal moving contact points within the wheel end, particularly the bearings. It dissipates heat, reduces friction, and prevents corrosion to the metal components. Wheel end lubricant can come in three different viscosities oil, semi fluid grease, and LGI grades triple knot double knot or knot, or hard grease, an LGI grade 1, 2, or 3. The lubricant can be either petroleum or synthetic based. Now that we have a good understanding of the components, we can move on to the handling and maintenance portion of this training. Please note that we will reference two levels of safety alerts throughout these training sections. A caution, which is used to identify procedures that must be followed to avoid damage to components and a warning alert, which is used to identify procedures that must be followed to avoid personal injury or death to the technician, driver, or others accompanying the roadways. Next, we'll cover handling and external inspection. But first, test your knowledge on this section by taking this short quiz.